No, your eyes are not playing tricks on you. This is raw footage from the Kodak PixPro SP360 action camera. In my quest to find the best POV camera for shooting, I've stumbled across this Kodak camera and I thought it was pretty odd. Um, interesting to say the least. So the footage you're seeing here is what they call the global view. The SP360 films in a 360 degree angle uh, field of view. Unlike you know GoPro and the other action cameras, they do probably about a 170 to 180 degrees field of view. The 360 here, it films a complete 360 degrees. It kind of reminds me of the Google mapping cars. If you ever seen one driving down the road where they're filming everything at 360 degrees around them, that's what this thing kind of reminds me of. But as long as you film in this global section or this global format that we're looking at right now, you can pretty much chop your video up and put it into other formats that become a little bit more useful. Because to me, this is just kind of odd looking, but not really useful, but it's collecting all this data. And if with the software that comes with the camera itself, you can chop it up into what I would more along the lines of useful data as making your videos come out normal looking. So here's the camera. As you can tell, it's kind of odd. It reminds me of those submersible submarines. And here's a GoPro Hero 4, just so you can see the difference in the two. Um, basically, the features on it, we've got a little socket right here for our memory card, HDMI and USB charging port, or synced up to your uh, PC, rather. Uh, tripod mount, the removable battery. I really like removable batteries on your, um, on your devices. This allows you to charge up multiple batteries and replace them as necessary if you're out in the field and don't have a charger and your camera goes dead. A very simple segmented display here for just a few basic things. And then we have a power menu and a record button and OK. But as you can see, the lens is really odd looking. Remember, it films 100, 360 degrees. So the view you were seeing there at the beginning was basically with the tripod on the bottom. This is being the top. This is the view you were seeing straight ahead. So. You know, I was looking over the front of the thing and it was picking up my face. Um, but where, where it really gets useful is if you take the tripod and you put it towards the rear. So if you can envision this poking straight up, like put it on the top of your car, for example. And the video footage I'm going to show you here is basically I had it sitting on the dashboard in this uh, orientation with the tripod mount pointing towards me, the driver, and the rest of it pointing towards the front while my kids were in the car. We're having a real deep conversation, as you'll find out here. But anyways, it films 360 degrees, this being the front, this being the back, up, right, left. Uh, this is how I think Google gets their Google Maps card. So if you ever look at the street view, they're using this little dome thing. Uh, the device itself comes with a ton of accessories, which I'll go through in a minute. But I think it's more important to talk about all the formats. So this is the software that you can download. For this device, here's is a screenshot right here. The first one I'm talking about, I want to talk about the global, the global view that you see here. With this global view, you can put your mouse over the video that you see there on the right and move it around. You can actually change the orientation of the the view of the video that you're seeing. And I've rendered this video. So all the video footage that you see here that's kind of weird, you know, that's done in the software, I've rendered it from the, the Kodak 360 software in order to get what you're seeing here. So the raw footage, it's pretty much useless. If you import it into your video editor, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get that weird global thing. So this is the global one. You can, like I said, spin it around, look, and see it all different angles at once. Uh, we also have the 4-3 aspect ratio and the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. I didn't the, these formats right here are pretty much more like an action camera like the GoPro that you would see. It's pretty straightforward. If you film in these two aspect ratios here, you're not going to get the global aspect. You can't look behind you, you can't look around you in the, the video, the raw video. And you know, 16 by 9 is basically 16 by 9. This thing does have uh, image stabilization, which is a big plus for POV cameras. As far as I'm concerned, every POV camera should have image stabilization. So the next format we're going to look at is what they're calling segments. This shows the first half of the half of the camera. So as we're looking here, driving in the car, 
I, you can see the front of the car, what's going on in front of us, and what's going on behind us as well. And then you can also move around in the software just like the global. I can't do it. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. That's as fast as I can go. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Tumbler, tumbler. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Then we have the quad, which this one here reminds me of a security camera tape where you have multiple cameras and it shows them all on the screen. Not quite sure how this would come into play later on. Um, I don't really quite this one's not my favorite. Segmented, the one we just saw, is my favorite by far. This format here is panorama. I mean, who doesn't know panorama? Hey, except for this panorama view, you're seeing everything. They take that 360 degree and they stretch it out, they roll it out. So in the software, you can scroll left or right or round in a circle and you can see everything. I can't do it. This next one is extraction, and then we have throw out. I'm going to just show you the screenshots here, but uh, I really wasn't that impressed with that. I mean, it, to be honest, I really couldn't understand it, and it didn't look that interesting when I looked at it through the software, so I just kind of bypassed that. This next one is ring. I'm really not sure how you would utilize the ring version of it, but it's cool none the least. It reminds me of just a cylinder, but as you can see, you know, you can change the view, twist it, flip it upside down. Uh, it's pretty cool. I can't do it. No. Try. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. That's as fast as I can go. Really? Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Tumbler, tumbler. Tumbler. Toy boat, toy boat. Da, And then last is the half dome, what I'm calling the half dome. And it's basically a dome. You can look at it, look all the way around, up, down, all around. I mean, the, it, it's really cool. I think this could have ramifications down the road if you think about it. If you were to take a picture, say, of the Eiffel Tower, you'd see the Eiffel Tower and whatever's in front of it, but you would never see what's behind it. In this case, if you're video footage, if you're videoing, you're videoing everything. You could see the Eiffel Tower, you could see what's behind you. Granted, once you edit it and show it to the public, they're gonna see that. But if you ever wanted to go back to it, you could see who's with you, what you were wearing, what the style of the day was. I don't know, it's, it's pretty weird to think about. Who knows where it will go in the future. But uh, I think it, it opens up a lot of stuff, it, a lo at least a lot of thought process. Well, going back to accessories, it comes with a little case, which I found very useful. It's pretty durable. It clips on my belt so I, you can carry the camera around with you. It comes with a couple of um, uh, lens covers. So if you lose one, you got another one. It comes with a head strap. Notice the mount's very similar to GoPro. <clears throat> Some adhesives. And it uses a ball and socket style. I didn't really mount these things up, so I really can't say how it works, but I wouldn't think it would be too awful bad. This is more of a belt clip or maybe a head uh, for something for your hat or something. It's got a little tripod mount on there, so you could probably mount it to your belt or some other, some other belt type object. And then we have a waterproof housing. Notice the, the base of it. It's very GoPro-like, and there's that ball right there. So it, it gives you a nice mounting options I guess with that ball. As I mentioned I didn't really mount the mount the thing at all I just handheld it. Here's some more adhesives, a little anchor point and then tether. We have another tether and then a few more extra adhesives and a few spare parts here. The charger is pretty cool being that the battery is removable. You've got this charging dock right here so if you have multiple batteries you can charge one and use the next one or use the one you have. And then we have a cleaning cloth. Going to the mounting systems, I'm really, you know, I really like mounting systems. If you've seen my other videos, you know, this is a very important part. This looks really remnants to GoPro. I'm going to pull that ball off. I'm going to take a GoPro mount here. They're almost identical in that respect. 
but they're opposite to each other. So, you know, this is the GoPro Hero. You see how it mounts right here. And then this is basically a mirror image of the mount. So I think they did this so you couldn't use the GoPro mounts. I think if you're ingenious enough, you can probably fudge it, make it work. This, this screw here is a little too short to go all the way through. If you turn the GoPro mount all the way around, you can actually fit it. It mates up pretty nice. However, the screw doesn't seem long enough to penetrate all the way through since we're adding a little bit of thickness here. Um, all in all, I think it's a really cool camera, but I really don't have that great a use for it at this time. For some real artistic folks out there, this may be a pretty cool toy to play with. And who knows, we could be seeing some crazy 360 videos in the future. Well, as always, thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video.